Today might not be Wednesday, but we are going to be watching the new hit show on Netflix, taking records from shows like Stranger Things. We are going to be watching Wednesday. Wednesday is an Adams Family spinoff all about the tales of Wednesday Adams going to a school for gifted youngsters. I've never watched any sort of Adams Family rendition in my life, so this is all this is gonna be coming from someone who has never seen it. Basically means my opinion means nothing, but you're gonna sit through and watch it. And if you couldn't tell, I'm dressed in Wednesday style. A little bit of influence from Morticia as well because my style kind of leans more towards Morticia, but we have the braids, we have the bangs. I didn't cut my bangs for this, I already have them. I have a black corset on, this long sheer over like dress thing, a black mini dress underneath. The dress actually has just normal short sleeves, but I put this little cover up on because I'm not a big fan of my arms, but that's for another day. I think this might be one of my best on theme outfits of the year, guys. I think I'm really pulling it off. What do you guys think? And I'm so sorry, but I already know who the Hyde is. So sorry, but I already know who the Hyde is. I already know who the monster is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but do we really care about that? <laughs> There's our girl, Jenna Ortega, looking better than ever. A pale Victorian child. Now. <laughs> Is any other Adams Family rendition have powers like that? Do they, does she have powers in the other Adams Family renditions? <laughs> but... Honestly, I support women's rights and also women's wrongs. I am I support that. I would do the same thing if someone did that to my younger sibling. I don't have one, but hypothetically, if I did have a younger sibling, I would throw piranhas in a swimming pool with a bunch of jocks. I don't think anyone would have to do anything for me to do that. I would do that willingly. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. How would that have looked on your record? Terrible. Everyone would know I failed to get the job done. But why do they care about her record? Like, I thought the whole point of the Adams Family was that they, like, didn't care what other people thought. I guess there's an extent of what caring about what people think and, like, having <laughs> murder charges <laughs> on your record. But I digress. I, I would support my daughter through murder. You know what this is? This is just a... Oh, my God. You know what the story this is? This is the same story as... <laughs> Emma Roberts, Wild Child. This is the same thing. You know, it's a small school and there wasn't much online about you. Oh, you know, you should really get on Insta, Snapchat, and TikTok. Stop it. You're not supposed to say that. I don't like it. I obviously am in the, 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 the group of people that don't like it when people acknowledge modern day things. I don't know why. It's just too soon for me. It, it, it's too soon for everyone. When I heard a bunch of people not liking this show, I think this contributes a lot to the reasons that people don't like the show. It's a very unoriginal concept to have like the clicks described and then being like, oh, like she's such an outcast. She's not on like Instagram or something when like they're trying to tell her that they're not they're all supposed to be outcasts of the real world and this is where they're not so outcasts. So why would they even be worried about her? I'm like, you turn into a wolf. What makes her so weird? And I maybe it's supposed to show how weird she is that even the outcast thinks she's weird, but I just don't believe it. Like, I'm not understanding it. Like, I get it. I get what they're trying to do. I don't think they're succeeding. My mother promised me I'd finally fit in somewhere. I never thought it was possible to be an outcast in a school full of outcasts. See, that's what I don't get. Like, like if you're an outcast in the school of outcasts, it's not because you're an outcast, it's because you're literally boring. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Welcome back. Who are you? Brad somehow cheated death and was trying to claw her way out. Either way, you hit the big red stop button and saved me from being flame broiled, so. Now we're even. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, that's kind of cute. That's like <sighs> childhood friends to enemies to lovers. Stop. Stop it right now. Do you guys think he's cute? Leave a comment down below. Not the hand. 
Xavier. But also leave a comment down below if you think the hand is hot. Leave, leave a comment down below if you think thing is hot. Cause I know some of you do. And you must admit it now. There's that cutie patootie I've been seeing all over my timeline. He's been terrorizing the timeline and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. He's a cutie patootie. You can't deny it. Put that quad in a to-go cup. Uh, but I don't get off for another hour. I'll sweeten the pot. 20 whole dollars. Tempting, but no. I'll make it 40. Uh, listen, Wednesday, one fun fact about me. I can't be bought, so. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, pause. Like, the way he talks is so funny. He's like, fun fact about me, I can't be bought. You definitely could. An hour of work at a coffee shop is not even probably $10 an hour. She's giving you like $40. I would totally get off and take her. Like you can get off an hour early. Fun fact about me, I actually can't be bought. You're a freak. You're freakier than her because you speak weirdly. We all die alone, Enid. You really suck at this. Why are you crying? Because I'm upset. Haven't you ever cried? Are you above that too? I don't know why she expects Wednesday to comfort her. Like they don't know each other. Maybe I am like Wednesday Adams because I don't feel, I'm like, well, why would I come for you? I don't know who you are. Like I have no idea who you are. Why do I care if you can't wolf out? Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Okay, I'm taking orders from a hand. Again, him being so surprised by this seems weird and people being surprised by thing is weird because, 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 why is he freaked out by a hand if he knows Nevermore Academy exists and he knows what Nevermore consists of, which is vampires, werewolves, medusas, or stoners, sirens. Like he knows what it consists of. Why is he so surprised? He lives right next door. I'm in. And no charge. Considered a <laughs> He speaks so funny. Why? He embodies the energy of Antihero by Taylor Swift, where it goes, it's me. Hi. That is him. He is the anti-hero of the story. Jeez, you get any better at this, you'll be taking home a whole pack. Pandas don't travel in packs. They prefer the solitude. All right, subtle hint taken. But the hint was not taken because you're still there. Oh yeah, who's the lucky guy? Or girl? Yeah, she's gay, sorry. She's a lesbian and <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry to tell you. Didn't mean to interrupt. You're not. See, what is, what is going on? Like, <laughs> what, what was that? What was that? You're not. I'm like, none of you guys know each other. Like, or none of you guys at least know Wednesday. Like, what, what's going on? You guys are so emotional. You're not scary. You're just kind of kooky. I prefer spooky. Oh, that was everything. I loved that. I loved that. I prefer spooky. I loved that. Why was it so like, why did that kind of give me butterflies when he like caught her? Like, he like caught her when she had her vision. That's so <laughs> making me giggle, making me, making me kick my feet in the back of my head. I already know who the hide is because obviously I've seen every spoiler ever. It just makes perfect sense. But that thing is crazy. Honestly though, I love how crazy it looks and I love how like kooky it kind of looks. Like it kind of looks like um, the aliens from Aliens in the Attic and that, that's the type of stuff I need. I hate it when some people try to make monsters look too realistic and then it ends up in that weird uncanny valley zone. I liked it that this one went full Aliens in the Attic or like Crazy Frog, you know what I mean? Cause you and I both know that there's a monster out there. Rowan is his latest victim. You know what? Rowan was trying to kill me, so I don't really care. Rowan was literally trying to kill you because, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, you're a freak and you literally tried to kill me. Clearly Nevermore's most famous alumni picked that up here. Rowan's a freak. He literally tried to kill me. I hate him. To make your story valid, you have to kill him yourself. You know, for the record, I believe you. Why? 
because you love me? Gosh, I'm such a sucker. Like you could give me the most bare minimum like amount of chemistry and I will run through the freaking roof with it. Like people really don't need ha to have that much chemistry for me to like latch onto it. Or you can just glare uncomfortably. Whatever works for you. That was flirting. Honestly, I think whenever I'm watching stuff and I think I'm being queer baited, it's not because I'm being queer baited, it's because I'm delusional. I can make something out of literally nothing. Like the most bare, like I said, the most bare minimum chemistry, I can turn into something, a full blown romance story because I am delusional. Not because the show is doing anything or the actors are doing anything. One wink and I'm like, they're in love. I don't, because personally, I would never wink at someone unless I absolutely love them. That's a lie. I've winked at a lot of people in my days. But like in a show context, I would never go on a show set and I would never write a wink into a plot unless that was made for love. And we all know I'm a successful writer. Have you shot a bone arrow before? Only on live targets. Okay. <laughs> they're everyone like listens to what she says and they're like you are so much <laughs> like everyone listens to things she says and they either get scared or they go oh okay we get it we get it you're crazy you're 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 loca like we get it so what's the deal with you and tyler why does you care about taylor yeah word of advice steer clear why because he's a normie because tyler and his friends are a bunch of jerks does he have friends? Ouch. Yeah, she got you good. That's embarrassing for you. Why is he there? That's the real question. Why is he there? I have seen him do nothing. I have seen him do nothing. Where is his gift? Where's his gift? The, the gift in question that everyone has. And I'm still confused as to how she got into the school, even though she doesn't have a gift. They just found out about her visions just now. There's an open spot next to me. If you can stand sitting that close to an elitist snob. Oh my God, he's so hurt. He's such a little crybaby. I'm so sorry, I don't like him. I'm not. That's what he can do. I doubt Wednesday is impressed by your tricks, Mr. Thorpe. Admit it, you're a little impressed. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> that was so funny. She, so he's Clary from the Mortal Instruments. That's what he is. He's Clary from the Mortal Instruments. That's it. That's all he does. Oh my god. Okay? I'm sorry, I like him. Are you okay? He's doing the bare minimum and I'm, I'm, I'm eating it up. There's something wrong with me. There's something seriously like demented about me that I saw that and the first thing when I was like, oh my God, he cares about her. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my God. He drew a picture of you. Can he make faces come to life too? Or is it just animals? And that's his whole thing? I, I'm still I'm still caught up on how that's his whole thing. Like, she treats you like crap, and you can't get enough. Okay, why are you so fixated on Wednesday? Because she thinks she's better than everyone else. She's like, what did I do? Like Wednesday's literally like, what did I do? Like I've literally just existed, and you guys all are on my case. Yeah, and you wonder why I broke up with you. You used to love my killer instinct. You were good together, Xavier. Well, he's so annoying. He's so annoying because he doesn't like. Bianca, but then he likes Wednesday when they're like literally two sides of the same coin. Like Wednesday and Bianca are like honestly great for each other because they will do anything to get what they want. Don't tell me you were a Girl Scout. I can eat Girl Scouts for breakfast. Actually, I have an uncle who went to prison for that. Oh my God. Two white boys loving you, what's new? You know what my least favorite thing is? A love triangle. I do hate love triangles. Technically, a lot of love triangles are just like angles. They're not even a complete triangle because it's just a V. It's two people liking the same person. A love triangle would be like person A loves person B and person B loves person C and then person C loves person A. 
that's a triangle and that's so confusing but i love it no reciprocation no reciprocation in the building that's what a love triangle should be everyone ends up alone is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes perhaps i'm all ears sometimes intentions melt in the face of unexpected opportunity are you really going to make me ask oh, absolutely Stop! Would you possibly consider going to the Raven dance with Stop. me? Stop! Would you go to the dance with me? <laughs> yes. Wednesday, I would love to go to the dance with you. I thought you'd never ask. Neither did I. I'm so sorry. I... I am so easily amused. I have been a hater throughout this entire thing, and you give me one, like, invitation scene and I am I'm back I'm back baby I'm back and I'm ready for action I'm a wounded fawn coming loose and go run with the pack are you sure why are they so cute though like as much as like Wednesday hates her she loves her like that's BFF that's girlfriend that's girlfriend material right there stop don't want to ask what trouble you're in now nothing I can't handle he always uh, he says every sentence like it is a the most concerning question ever. Like, call me crazy, Wednesday, but you keep giving me these signals. What? <laughs> Who said that? 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 Give me a call if I remove up your to-do list. She's only come to him so he could help her like drive to places or for more information. Like the signals were non-existent. She's given Xavier more signals because she asked him to the dance. She gave Tyler about zero. Even though I am, I make something out of nothing. I take the most bare minimum scenes and say it's like groundbreaking chemistry. Even I can see that there was no signals placed. Or are these all just self-portraits? <laughs> Oh, what, you think it's me? I saved your life. It's very obvious that it's not him, but I digress. Honestly, the fact that it's so easy to tell who the monster is means that, really? Wednesday's not a good detective. Like, she's kind of really bad because we could all tell who it was, like, very early on. Not when it comes to this thing. Maybe it's just your guilty conscience. Like I told you I'm not the monster, okay? Maybe he is friends with the monster. More like she's friends with the monster. That's out of my bed. Get along with the voices. You are unbelievable. It's nothing personal. No, it never is with you, is it? I mean, do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all, Wednesday? Get out. Like, why is he surprised? That's the first time she's ever been nice to you and now you're getting mad at her. Like, I mean, granted, like I would be really hurt too, but at the end of the day, this is Wednesday Adams we're talking about. Like you guys all keep talking about how she's like a freakazoid and she's so crazy and she's so emotionless and she doesn't have any emotions. And then you're surprised when she acts the way you perceive her to be. Um, got your invite. Guessing you a thing, drop it in the tip jar. He says everything like it's a question. Yeah. Can you be confident? <laughs> Can you be more confident? Now that I'm here, I'm glad I came. Stop, you're making me blush. I'm kicking my feet. Ew, why is he swinging his little feet? Or his fingers on the railing? He's a freak. Why is that kind of cute? Why do I think a hand is cute? Stop it right now. Thing is hot, stop. Best dress reveal ever. She's so cute. Wait, really quickly, let me put my hair up like that. Let me do that. I was gonna do this hairstyle for the video, but it was just too hard to like keep like that. I mean it, Wednesday, you look beautiful. Stop, <laughs> you're making me blush, stop. Why are you bringing this up? As if this pants weren't tedious enough. Because you don't know what he did to me. Well, yeah, because you never told me, stupid. He, he literally hasn't even brought it up. He's just been like, I don't like that guy. Xavier told me what you did last year. How you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on outreach day. As we should. Xavier's a freak and he's a weirdo. And he should be bullied. Because that bun is ugly. The bun is ugly and we need to destroy it. I could give you a million excuses, but the truth is I'm still trying to figure that out. But Wednesday wouldn't care. She's literally, she loves that stuff. She loves doing that stuff. So why would she care if he did it? Did you think I was going to judge you over some lousy prank? I would have taken it further. You mean like putting piranhas in a swimming pool? I may have done a little digging on you after we met. Oh, I'd do it again. Period. 
Yeah, you guys are crazy. You guys are freaks and you guys were meant to be together. Okay, let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. It's so good. This scene is so good. Like the whole show could be bat shit. Like the whole show could be ass. This scene is enough for me to be like, no, like it's worth watching. Every single episode is worth watching just to get to this point. <laughs> She is so good. Jenna Ortega is a gem. I am so glad that everyone loves her. I'm so glad, as they should. Oh my God, he's kind of killing it though. Like the way he was moving, he was like, he's so jealous. He's like, damn, I want to dance with a freak. <laughs> I want to dance with that freak. I'm a freak too. I want to bust it down. You broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Now you want me to use it to help you get over another girl? He's the worst character ever. <laughs> He's genuinely the worst character ever. Like he tries to make it seem like Bianca is so bad and then is literally a ginormous asshole to her. Xavier needed to be bullied more. He deserves to be bullied even more in the next season, if there is one. You are miserable and a freak and I don't like you or what you stand for. Xavier, I'm an Xavier hater. Cause he's just a pouting baby. Tyler's better, so whatever. Tyler may be the monster, but he is better. This is an epic scene though. I think that'd be fascinating. I would love to experience this just to be drenched in like blood or a fake blood would be, cause like, why would I start crying? I obviously know it's not real blood. What the hell are you doing, man? I just texting my dad. He's on his way. Wait, have you seen Wednesday? I lost her. How should I know where she is? She's your date. The way Xavier literally ran into Tyler and he goes, what the hell are you doing, man? Xavier sucks. He's a dick and he should be bullied. We need to bully him more. I'm sorry for what happened at the dance. I shouldn't have asked you to siren song me like that. I hate him. I genuinely hate him because, and I, I know everyone's thirsting over him and everyone's like, oh my God, he's such a hottie potty. Like he's a hottie with a body, but he's mean. He's mean. And what he did to Bianca was not chill at all. What a dick. These aren't just ordinary summer camps. So camps for like can't there be conversion? Is this an allegory for being a lesbian and coming out to your parents and going to conversion therapy? She is very lesbian, right? Like she practically wears the lesbian flag every single time she's on screen. And now they're talking about conversion therapy for werewolves. What is that? You're not converting her from everything. If she was already born into a werewolf, then the t times will come when the times will come. You're not converting her from human to werewolf. She already is a werewolf. How does that make sense? It must be for being a lesbian. I showed up to your surprise party. I figured that would have been a hint. What'd you see? Who said I was ready to speak with you? You still think I'm the monster? I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. You know where to find me. He is such a bitch every single, you know what he reminds me of? Oh my God, I hate to say it, I really do, but he reminds me of, you guessed it, our literal nemesis, the nemesis of the trend level universe, Garrett from the Hunger Games, my arch nemesis. He is my big boss, Bowser. He is the bane of my existence. And Xavier reminds me exactly of him. Exactly, exactly of him. Oh, it makes me so angry just thinking about it. Oh, it's in my brain. It's in my brain and it's, it's getting me hot. Oh my God, it reminds me exactly of. He is the Gale of this universe. Sorry, sorry. So if I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, He's, he's literally making me blush. I'm so sorry. He's so much better than Xavier. He's so much better than him. I'm sorry. He's the PETA of our story and you guys don't want to accept that. You guys don't want to accept that because you're afraid of the truth. You're afraid of the truth that Tyler is PETA and Xavier is Garrett. You don't want to accept that truth. And one day you guys will. I just feel like ever since the Raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Am I wrong? Does Wednesday even know what ghosting is? Guess I got my answer. Okay, I love Tyler because Tyler is delusional as I am because I would fully make up a full romantic connection with someone that never happened. I would do that too. That's me for real. Like, 
I would do the exact same thing and then be hurt being like, oh, well, I guess I got my answer. You don't care about me. When she's never displayed any <laughs> ounce of care for him. And I love that. I love being delusional, being delusional and hot. That's what I love to see. Representation. What? <gasps> what is that? What was that? I'm scared. I'm really scared, guys. I just don't understand what this gift does. Like, I don't understand the point of it. Like, I just don't get it. He makes art come to life, but like, it's like when I look at certain mutant abilities and I'm like, what, what, what why? I, you know why I hate it? Cause it's a hidden ability. I hate hidden abilities like that because they can hide from the rest of the world. And that goes for you too, Wednesday. And the fact that you don't know that says everything. You wanna be alone Wednesday? Be alone. People are surprised when Wednesday Adams acts like Wednesday Adams. I, I can't feel bad for people who knew what they were getting into. I, I can't feel bad about that. No, no, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. I get it in like any other normal circumstance, I probably would understand, but this is Wednesday Adams. Like she was very upfront with how she felt from the very beginning. And every single one of those motherfuckers, Xavier, Tyler, Enid, all say the same thing. Oh my God, Wednesday, you don't care about anything. But then when she doesn't care about anything, they go, oh my God, you betrayed me. Like, yeah, of course she was using you. Of course she's obsessed with this and nothing else. Like, wh why are we surprised? I've been on your side since day one. I believed your theories when nobody else did. Like, what do I get in return? Just nothing but suspicion and lies. Fine. Puzz, he literally was not on her side. He literally doubted her every single time. He didn't believe her up until maybe like the fifth time she talked to him. He, that, why is everyone just lying to her? I think everyone in this whole entire show is gaslighting Wednesday because I swear to God, they are like, I have been nothing but kind to you and I trusted you and I thought we had something going on between us. And they're like making it up. Like they're delusional with a capital D. Like they are making up these scenarios and trying to gaslight her into thinking that they are real. He did not believe her. All, he did not believe all her theories. She mentioned from the very start that she was a loner and everyone's like, no, I can change her, I can fix her. And then they get butt hurt by their own choices. Like she has been nothing but mean to you guys since the very moment you saw her. And now you're being all hurt like she betrayed you when that's literally all she's been doing this entire time. <sighs> I am upset, I'm upset because it, 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 it makes no sense. Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. You know, my dad's not here and I want to break. And I love you and I want to be close to you forever. I know I shouldn't be team either of them, but I am team Tyler. Because he's not a dick. It's very nice to not be a dick. So, about rescheduling our date. Stop! <laughs> well, between the monster and my uncle. Yeah, no excuses. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. I'm sorry. Guys, you give me one, you give me an inch, I'll take a mile. You give me an inch, I'll take a mile. Stop it right now. <laughs> I guarantee this one won't make you pass out cold. But you do have to close your eyes. Their eye. Are you serious? Guys, bare minimum gets me because I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cute. I am I'm I'm literally pathetic. I'm horrible and I need to grow up. I need to grow up because I need higher standards because I'm literally watching this and being like that's the cutest thing in the world. It's just precious. It is. And I and I'm not going to apologize for it. Why would I do that? It's It's, it's fun. It's a fun time. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not going to work. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. I'm tougher than you think. Stop. I'm like, "Oh my god." My father thinks that my mental health is a PR problem that he needs to manage. I wanted to keep his troubled son out of the tabloids. What are his troubles? Like, how has he been, he paints. That's all he does. He paints, like he. What? Like who I can trust. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Stop. <laughs> I'm like giggling. 
guys as much as it is like tired and like boring like to have it's not boring but as much as it is like overdone to have a love plot in every single teen show ever i still eat it up every single time (laughs) (laughs) Ah, oh my god wednesday adam's kissing a boy this is crazy this is like basically changing the shift of her character for life like this is changing wednesday's arc Hey. <laughs> caught her again. Okay. See, I told you guys. Like, it's as much as I already knew when I started the show who the hide was. It's pretty obvious to tell that it's him. He's like a cute little patootie, and then like he obviously he would be the monster. And it was delicious. <laughs> okay, Joker. You have no idea who's coming. Do you guys think he's gonna be like the Evan Peters of like the next generation because he's like played a villain really well? And it was delicious. You're delicious. You know what? You're delicious. Even though you are the monster and you're crazy, I still think you're hot. Hey, maybe, hey Wednesday, maybe, maybe we have a type. I think we all have a type. Should I still be kicking my feet and giggling even though he was probably aware of manipulating her this entire time? Or should I just leave it be? You're toxic. You're toxic. All you ever do is make things worse. You're toxic. Of course she is. That's literally, she told you that from the first time she met you. Something bad was coming. No, I think that this you've already shown be me it. that. I don't care. Do you want to stop this? Then leave. Go far away and never come back. You know what? He kind of looks like the Hyde in normal form. His eyes are kind of bugging out like the Hyde. No wonder why we think it was you. Your eyes are huge. You kind of look like the Hyde already. No offense, full offense. No offense, some white people have really big eyes and that's not, it's, it's not an insult, it's just the truth. Of course we would think it was you versus Tyler because Tyler has smaller eyes than you. You have huge eyes. You know what? I'll give him a pass on on this outburst at Wednesday because I will admit if someone framed me for murder and being a a, a, a serial monster killer, I would be a, a little upset too. Of course, I would be a little upset too. But at the end of the day, I do think he deserves to be bullied a lot. Christina Ritchie, but who else would it be? Like it wasn't gonna be Weems because she was the whole biggest suspect of them all. It had to be Christina Ritchie. Now what Tyler didn't realize is that the truth wouldn't free him. I'm so sorry. It would enslave him to you. You know what this is just like? Guys, I'm so sorry to say it. I am so sorry to say it, but this is just like Teen Wolf season two, um, um, Kinema, Jackson storyline, being controlled, the monster being controlled by someone else. Boom, boom, boom. Tyler, honey, make mama happy and shut her up. That's why I'm still, I still love Tyler because he wasn't the real monster, it was this bitch. She controlled him, manipulated him, and used his weaknesses against him. Fuck her, I'm still a Tyler lover. Still team Tyler at the end of the day. I never made it to the station. Heard enough? Yo, chill out. I loved it that she was a shapeshifter and she only used it twice throughout this whole show. And then died, I guess. I guess she died then. Got to shapeshift twice and then I died. Stop killing off major characters within the first season. Come on, guys dedicated to protecting normies from outcasts until his life was cut short by your ancestor, Goody Adams. I will say, you'll never catch me fighting for an ancestor like them. They love their ancestors so much. Like I thought Crackstone didn't like witches. Like I thought that was the whole thing that happened was that he didn't like witches and now she is using witchery to bring him back. Like. And he has magic, but he is against outcasts. I don't get it, because you are an outcast. That's you. Wait. 
you belong. And, and this is coming because I am an avid lover of supernatural shows. I, I love the originals. I love the Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf. Like, I've seen it all. So to have such a half-assed supernatural plot in this is so frustrating because I love supernatural shows. Like, I do. So obviously, I know the formula. And this is not a good one. This is not a good one. It's lackluster. And I'm hoping if they have more seasons, they up the stakes on it. Like a cockroach. Please, flattery will get you nowhere. Oh. Don't pull my t don't pull my shirt like that. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> he looked crazy. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Those bug eyes on that crazy monster is the best thing ever. Bay fighting Bay like like they are literally fighting over for her love. I think Enid's transformation finally into a wolf being like the climax of the move, not the movie, the series is is good. That I'll say is good. I think it's predictable, but it's still you know epic. It, it, you know, she goes through this whole thing being like, I can't wolf out to finally wolfing out at the end to save her friends. It's it's very good, very, 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 very purposeful. I like it. Aww. How cute. Sorcery is this? Stay away from her! Well, that's embarrassing. I, I wouldn't admit to that I did that. Did you see how fast she steps in front of that arrow? I'm just saying. I'm a big hater. I'm a big fat hater shit talker about that boy, but she stepped pretty fast in front of it. I'm, I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I, I, I didn't say anything though, but I, I'm just saying, but I didn't say anything. That's girlfriend. That's girlfriend. I'm not kidding. I'm being so for real. That's girlfriend. I hate to say it, I really do, but that seems very easy. Like, did she get stabbed? Yes. Did she get shot with an arrow? Yes. But at the end of the day, it just took one stab to get him. Sorry, but that pilgrim wasn't that strong in my opinion. I might not get to kill all the outcasts, but at least I'll get to kill you, Wednesday. The bees! Yeah! That's what you get for messing with Nevermore, bitch. Uh, okay, Eugene, I loved that. Bitch. Oh, I love him. Best character. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. Bitch. Stop, I'll cry. I'll cry right now and I'm I don't even care. I'm like I do get a little bit emotional from it. It does make me a little bit emotional. They are best friends. They are best friends and lovers. Best friend, girlfriend forever. B F G F F. B F G F F. Best friends, girlfriend forever. I'm not sure how I feel about this show. And that's the end of the, that's the end of the show. Like, okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. It's, you're literally fine. It's got some great parts. Obviously a lot of the parts that are good are the ones that are marketed heaviest. You know, Jenna Ortega's acting, brilliant. You have some tension and, you know, chemistry going on between a lot of different characters that stirs up a lot of uh, engagement for the show. It's not bad. It's not good though. It's, it's hard to enjoy a show like this when I've been watching supernatural shows for a very long time. Part of the reason why Netflix gets into this funk and has so many canceled series every other week is because they were new or green light the same supernatural story over and over again and they end up getting one season and then getting canceled because it's basically the same story but why i think that's such a problem when it comes to this story specifically now i'm all for some some cliche story lines like i am one for that i do love that some of the time 
But when you're going into a story like that involves the Adams family and part of the niche of the Adams family is this, you know, satirical comedy aspect and the the joy that they get from being so different. I didn't feel like you got that a lot from this story. And I think it chose a very basic plot line of this person was bullied once or didn't like being a normie and wants to get rid of all the so-called outcasts. This is me shitting on it. The parts of the story that I liked, I really loved Uncle Fester's moments. I thought it was so funny when they do hit on the comedy, it hits pretty hard. I think it's really hilarious, you know, when they actually do dive more into the satirical comedy aspect of the Adams Family. I think it works really well. I do like Jenna Ortega. I do like Wednesday Adams as a character. One thing I hated throughout the show was everyone being surprised that Wednesday Adams was in Wednesday Adams. I don't understand why everyone was so surprised by her behaviors because she flat out was like, this is who I am. I would give this show a two and a half stars out of five. I think it's very mid. It's a very two and a half show to me. And that makes me seem like a really big hater. At the end of the day, I do understand the viral sensation that it's become it has a lot of a lot of captivating scenes and a lot of engaging scenes um that i can see being posted about that i completely understand you have some cutie patooties casted you have jenna ortega who is just incredibly amazing like amazing talented like she is once again check out my merch there'll be a link in the description um i think it's a wonderful merch that matches Wednesday a lot um very spooky and crazy like Wednesday uh, I love you guys let me know what you guys want to see next if there's any other series you would like me to watch leave a comment down below I'm always interested in what you guys want me to watch and I will see you guys next time bye